kind of interest is there in Dublin for this fight? Well, welcome to Dublin. I'm here in front of the Samuel Beckett Bridge. It is absolutely stunning up here. In terms of interest, there is a lot of interest around McGregor. There's also a sense of intrigue. I was chatting to a few of the journalists earlier today, and it seems there is a kind of a split around the 35-year-old age mark. For those under 35, they are absolutely mad for Saturday night's fights. They absolutely adore Conor McGregor. They see the way that he has managed to come from next to nothing and emerge as one of the true global superstars of sport. For those over 35, perhaps there's a little bit more ambivalence. Some of his language is sometimes a bit of a deterrence. But I'd say overall, there is a huge amount of interest here in Dublin and also excitement. No question. Line of demarcation there. It's kind of this way in America as well. The younger population tends to love Mixed martial arts and McGregor, I should add. Uh, this is kind of fun. Tell me about the guy that McGregor considers, shall we say, Tom, a cut above that he apparently can't live without even this weekend. So earlier today, we paid the old county barbers a little visit in Crumlin. And now this is where Conor McGregor gets his hair cut. And the owner of this place, a guy called Craig, has been flown out by McGregor to Las Vegas ahead of the fight to cut McGregor's hair. Um, <laughs> the front of the shop is a picture of McGregor and Mayweather together. And inside, it's just beautiful. It's an absolutely stunning venue. But this is something Conor McGregor does a fair bit of. He's also flown over a guy called Mick Constantine. Now, he's just gone viral with his song, There's Only One Conor McGregor. And Connor flew him out on Thursday morning. And from what I've seen on social media, he's been wowing the crowds in Vegas. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see if Connor can wow the crowds in Vegas tomorrow night in the ring. That's, of course, the big question. Hey, before I let you go, I hear the Irish sporting populace actually has another huge event on their proverbial minds that might supersede this fight. What could be bigger than this fight in Ireland tomorrow? So this weekend, there are actually two Gaelic football semi-finals. On Saturday, there's one at Croke Park. And on Sunday, there's also one there between Dublin and Tyrone. And it's Dublin, the team here, which are, there's, are real local favourites here. They're regarded as perhaps the best team of their generation. And with 73,500 people expected in Croke Park, on the newspapers here at the moment, you can see McGregor and Mayweather. But Gaelic football seems to be the dominant story in town.